Okay, guys, we come back to Master Vision Digital Online Tutorial video to teach you how to do the TDG printing. Okay, so after you prepare the job before printing, we can start to install the focus uh, newest uh, thin larger DTG printer. So before you install the machine, we need to prepare some uh, tools. The first uh, is the the glove to 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 use the for load the ink and to do the maintenance job to protect your finger not dirty and also the screwdriver to lock the print head and the scissors to cut down the protection film and also the computer you need to prepare the computer the computer is must be uh, uh, not too bad configuration it's generally recommended to no less than four core cpu and the memory is better bigger than eight gigs for high speed print <coughs> And also the printing palette, shoes palette, t-shirt palette, and heating press machine, and printing materials. Everything was prepared, and now we can start to align the machine. We start to install the machine. Okay. So first, when you get the machine from the focus, the first, you uh, when you open the cover. First one, is, first time, is, first step is to open the cover, and we can see there's a tape that that fasten the belt. Okay, so the step, first step we need to cut down because right now we, for pro, before delivery, we lock the pre, uh, belt to protect the carriage without uh, shaking and damage. So it cannot move the carriage, it's locked. So when we get the machine and we start to use install, first we cut down the tab by scissors. Be careful to not cut down the belt, okay? It's very important. Okay, after that we can move the rabbit, the carriage freely, right? Okay, so, so this is first step. After that, let me introduce the pass and the function for each using. Okay, so from the, at front view, we can see the machine. First, uh, from the front, we can see here, just the print screen to show the printing process and the current printing process like ready. When you power on, it will show ready. And when they're doing printing, it will show the printing process by 15%, 20%. And if you get any error, any problem of the machine, it will show the error code here. So this is the printing screen. And also show some printing setting like bad action, unit action, normal speed, high speed, we will show here. And this is the image stop button. When you push down the button, then the carriage will be lack of power to, to protect. If you print and get the head claw, get head scratched by the material, you can start push down or cut down the electricity. And when you turn by this way and pull up, you can, you can supply the power to the carriage again. So this is the images button. And here is the printing palette, this printing palette. And here have some uh, uh, jigs, have some holes to, to do the alignment and to put, to, to, to do the to change the palette easier, and this the uh, and here this tray is for hold the t-shirt. The balance t-shirt will not uh, put on anywhere to can insert to this position to protect the the movement of the table. And also the table can be moved from front to backward, backward to front to forward. We can move later and we pop on the machine. Okay, so this is the front view of the Fox uh, Synergy Plus DTG printer. And also here, the left and right side have the touch screen for, for, for the control, left, right, forward, backward. But right now you cannot see because we cannot put the power on the machine. The later we power the machine, I will introduce the function for each for you. Okay, then we open, when we open the cover, when we open the cover, we can see here, they have uh, some uh, uh, mechanical spare parts. So first uh, you can see there's a serial number the serial number here. The serial number you can see the the for example the serial number set for FSPT and the last four digital is two three four three. That means this is the serial number of this machine. So when your machine get any problem, you can tell the focus support team that my serial number is what what what. Then we will know exactly what this machine made, who made this machine, and who's the assembly person to track the quality and find the exact problem. Okay, 
And <coughs> here on the top, the, on the bottom of the, 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 the code, we can see here is the belt. The belt is for carriage moving to get the carriage moving from left to right for speed, so for printing. And at the bottom of the belt, we can see there's a linear rail. The linear rail is for high precision and also is import out of China for high precision print. So also this, this, uh, this linear rail must be sure it's no damage and no any dust uh, and also have some, uh, some glue oil, some uh, rubbery oil that put on the uh, rail to, to ensure the carriage can be moved freely without any noise and nothing blocked it. Okay, so this is the uh, rear. Then we move, the, move out the carriage. We can see this position is the cap station. From the cap station, we can see there are two print head cap. First is for white ink and for color ink. And this cap station can be up down. And also this cap station is not a man, it's not uh, but manually up and down is by electronic system. So at the, at the bottom of the cap station, there's a high precision up down control system, electronic system to make the cap station up and down to clean print head and wrap print head. And also here, at the left side of the cap station, we can see this is the wiper. The wiper is, you also can be up and down to wipe the print head surface after clean, after flushing. And it must be sure the the, the wrapper is clean and it's no damage, it's smooth, no damage. Also the rubber, the rubber ring at the top of the cap station must be sure it's not damaged when you get the machine. Okay, so when we move on the top of the cap station, we can see there's a motor here, this is the flap it, uh, this is the carriage moving motor to, to get the carriages has been moving is serving more server motor and also inside is some tuber some ink tubers inside and also must be sure it's not bent for each color here so okay so the, this is the uh, explanation for cap station okay when we go to the carriage when we open the carriage cover by four screw one two three four at the left left and right side of the carriage cover we take out the cover. You can see a screw hole here. We take out screw and we can see there are some uh, ink splice system and electronic system. At the top of the carriage board, at the top of the carriage is the carriage board. It's the control board for, for print head and inkjet printing. And here is the, the sub ink tank for wet ink because the white ink we, we, modded, we produced by saturation for prevent the white ink sittering. So we put a sub ink tank here to make the ink go and back to the ink tank for saturation. And also there are some color, four color ink tubers, KCMY for, for color ink print head using. And each tubers we have the ink damper for each. So totally eight ink dampers four ink damper for white and four ink damper for color. And at the bottom of the damper is the print head adapter board, small board and a big board. We put two small boards, one and two small boards to, to uh, ensure when you change the new print head, you never, no need, to change, no, no need to do an alignment again for the print head. It's a new technology. And at the left side of the carriage, we can see there's uh, uh, the material gap thickness automatic detect sensor and the screen here. So when you power the machine, we can see there's a digital number here to show the current thickness between the table and print head surface. And when the print head surface is over position, the, the, the alarm light will be, LED light, light will be on to, to, to make your attention, cannot move off of the position. So this is the, uh, this is the carriage. Okay, so when we go to the, the flap it, we can see here and here are uh, two screw locked installed. And this is the, uh, this is the, we call it the up limit sensor. So when you put the t-shirt here, 
up down, uh, because different the material, different T-shirts have different the thickness. For example, hoodies, jeans wear is more thickened than the T-shirt. And also the print-on shoes, so we add an uh, up limb sensor here. It's for send and it's for receive. So, so every time if we print, you need to put the material here and make the up or down to adjust the, the thickness between the print head and the material before print. So when, when the material is over position, we will stop, stop the motor up down motion to protect the print head with never scratch the bad material. So this is the up down limb sensor. But, but for safety, it's better to check by your eyes again before you, to the install, before you print. Okay, so this is the uh, table and the carriage. <coughs> okay, so when we go to the left side of the machine, and we can see here inside is the electronic system for focus the newest uh, Thinage DDG printer. There's a two lock, we push down the lock and we take it out of the cover. And we can see here inside is the main electronic system. And we can see from the outside here is the up down motor to control the flatbed up down motion. And the motor driver goes with the motor. And this motor is for flatbed from forward and backward using. And here is the main board, is the CPU, the main board, the heart for the machine. The main board have lots of plug for, for motor and for sensor and for the signal cable, optical cable, connect from main board to carriage board. And uh, here is the, the cap station motor board, cap station board to control the cap station up and down. And here is the signal box to control the up down motion for the table, for the flatbed. And here is the power supply box to supply different voltage for the machine using, like 42, 36, 24, 12, different voltage level for different uh, electronic parts using. And also here we can see um, the ball screw, one, two, ball screw to, to get the table move with high precision. So Focus Nuis the thinner jet was built by industrial lever. Uh, we now use the cheap one ball screw, we use the high configuration to get the table moving without, without any horizontal and vertical bending uh, of lip. So they are also have another two screw ball screw at the, another side of the machine. So this is the left side window and almost this for uh, electronic system. So when we go to the rest side of the machine, when we open the, the cover, we can also see there are some uh, electronic parts and ink, ink supply system here. And first on the top, we can see this uh, cap station. And this knob is for, for an adjustment for, by your hand for, for maintain, maintenance. Normally this knob no need to change, no need to touch, it because it's up down automatically for cap station. And this inside is the up down system to get the cap station up and down. And here's the down sensor and the motor inside and the ball through inside. Okay, so this is the cap station, up down movement system. And when we go to the down position, we can see this uh, waste ink box for, for waste ink. And here also an alarm. And we, when we push down, push down, with, and you put the battery here, and when the ink is full, it will be beep, 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 beep sound to alarm you the waste the ink is full. So you need to release, you need to release, you can release the ink from here, and you open the value, and open the block, and you can put the, release the waste the ink to a bottle and throw away. And I also have some tubes to connect with the pumps. And this for pump white, for pump the white ink, and for pump C for color, and it's for white ink of circulation. So, so the ink flow is from the ink, ink tank to go to the ink tuber, then go to the print head, and again, then if the cup station up in the cup station move up to the cup station will be connect with the print head surface, and then the print head the cap the pump start cleaning start pumping to pump the ink from print head to waste ink bottle to get the ink go through with all the supply system. 
and so it is the pump for wet and pump for color. And this one is the wet ink saturation pump. It used the full uh, pump the ink to print to to damper and go back to the ink tank over here. So this is not pump from the waste ink uh, capsation, but pump from pump from the uh, ink tank, water in, big ink tank, go to the damper and then go back to the uh, big ink tank for wet ink. So this is the wet ink saturation pump. It's not used for cleaning. The cleaning is from here. Wet ink cleaning pump, wet ink saturation pump. So it's called WH, in and out. Okay, so this is the pump. And also go to here, we can also see as the left side, we have the high precision ball screw to get the table up and down motion. So also we build with high industrial level configuration to get make the table vertical and horizontal with high precision print. Okay, so this is the right side of the machine. We can see some uh, uh, device for ink supply system and up down cap station. Okay, thank you. Okay, when we go to the right side of the bottom of the machine, we can see there also ha have four ink tank for color ink. From the left, right, from the outside is black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. All the white ink and the color ink, the ink, the ink value is five hundred ml milliliter, and also same as the white ink at the outside of the ink bottle. We can see there's a window to check the ink level for each ink to ensure we will not print without ink. So this is the color ink supply system, ink tank for each color. Okay, when we go to the left, to the left back side of the machine, we can see this the white ink tank system. And we have one, two, three, four ink tank, but we need, just need to only use the one. The, first, the second one is for white ink. So we just need to fill ink, white ink to the second one, this one. And at the bottom of the white ink bottle, we have a white ink shrinking system. The shrinking with the motor, the motor will be shrinking to, shrinking to prevent white ink without settling for a long time no using. And when you open the cover, you can see here inside there's a small magnet uh, shrinking device inside, so must be sure there's inside, not lose, not a lack of the uh, shrinking tools inside. So when the magnet go with the motor at down at the bottom of the wet ink bottle is shrinking, it's, it's motion rotary, and also the magnet at the middle set inside of the ink tank also will be. Uh, rotate the same same time to prevent the white ink settling for long term no using or doing print or uh, white ink, ink settling. So this is the wet ink processing system.